first time sailing was actually in San Diego on a little uh, boat before we went sailing across the Pacific with my family when I was four years old. Uh, I first went sailing on Brisbane waters in front of Gosford. I think I probably my first day sailing was about five years old and I think my first time racing was about seven. I first went sailing on Pittwater on the northern beaches just north of Sydney Harbour. Uh, my dad inspired me to get into sailing. Uh, he's always been a sailor his whole life and uh, then my older sisters uh, got into it before me and I just naturally followed. My family were sailors and we lived really close to the water and close to the local sailing club and so that's where I started. Uh, my parents are die-hard Hobie Cat sailors and they were the ones who got me to sport as soon as I could walk. Make sure that you love the sport you're doing and keep going if that's the way it is. Uh, embrace the competition and try and enjoy as much as you can whilst also working hard. I think just to sort of relax and, uh, and not to stress about it too much. Uh, sometimes in the past I've been a bit wound up trying to get every good result but um, really in the end of the day only the big ones matter. First boat name uh, that I raced was uh, 007 because the sound number is 2700. The very first boat I ever owned was a Sabo and it was called Junior Burger. My sister got to choose which boat we bought and uh, the deal was I got to choose the name and I realised my sister hated that name and I quite enjoyed making my sister angry so I called it Junior Burger. My first boat was called Speed Demon. It was a manly junior. Uh, I think my first job was maybe working at the laser factory building boats or it could have been uh, a fisherman. I was a tuna fisherman for a while there um, and yeah, I wasn't very good at that either. My first job was working for the family business making cashier drawers at um in a, a, it's a family run business. Yeah. Uh, coaching is my first job, I think. New Caledonia, tropical uh, French. It's got all the best parts of France, but then in a tropical paradise. My favourite sailing destination, I think for Sao GP, I love the Sydney event. Having the F50s on Sydney Harbour is amazing. Bermuda is my favourite place to sail. Last year was my first and only time there. Uh, it's just a stunning place to to be around and the water's crystal clear and the wind is beautiful. I'm a window seat guy. Once I fall asleep, I just don't want anyone bothering me. A window seat, so I can use it as a, just a pillow to nap on. Uh, for sleepy, I prefer the window, but I usually, for really long hauls, do the aisle so I can get on the stretch my legs. Probably sunny day, good breeze, 15 plus knots. Flat water is nice, but obviously anything makes it interesting. As windy and as wavy as possible, I just love the carnage. <laughs> Perfect conditions for sailing an F50. I think now that we've got the small wings, it's gone up a bit. I would have usually said about 15 knots, now I'd say 20 knots, flat water, tight racetrack. Uh, yeah, I mean, I look up to my dad because he's always what I embodied as a man, you know, really strong um, adventurer, a great husband, a great father, so I really look up to my dad. Somebody I look up to, uh, well, I guess outside of sailing, it's um, definitely my dad. Um, yeah, he's just the values he has as a person and a calm nature and a good person. I'd love to be that. Um, most recently, I've looked up to Tia Claire Toomey, the crossfitter. She's just an all-time legend and the greatest in our sport. I see myself in 10 years' time uh, still in South GP, I hope. Uh, I might not be steering, I might not even be racing anymore, but I'm um, still involved with the Australian South GP team, travelling the world, bringing through the next generation of sailors and uh, working just as hard as I do now to keep Australia on top of the podium. I'd love to still be sailing and hopefully driving one of these boats one day. Hopefully still alive. I mean, I do a lot of these, these extreme sailing sports with, uh, and it feels a bit scary at times, so hopefully still kicking along, but hopefully a dad or two and with a happy wife and happy life.